So why is the code important for early childhood educators? First and foremost, and the thing I, I really want us all to remember all the time, is that it's essential because we care for children who are too young and too vulnerable to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. And I always like to quote from Lillian Katz's first book on ethics, because this had such an influence on me, and I think it is, it's so important. She says, um, the more powerless the client is in relation to the practitioner in any pro profession, the more imperative the profes professional's ethics become. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important for us because yeah. the children are so young and, and vulnerable. It's important because our work is complicated. Mm -hmm. you know, if you're a doctor, you got a patient. If you're a lawyer, you got a client. If you're an early childhood educator, you have a child, mm -hmm. you have a family to deal with, you have colleagues to deal with, you have an agency to deal with. So you're always having to um, weigh and balance your responsibilities. Right. Your responsibilities. Um, so I think, I think that it helps us to deal with that complexity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's important because it helps us understand our responsibilities. It helps us find wise resolutions mm -hmm. to dilemmas. We have a lot of dilemmas because mm -hmm. it's so complex. Mm -hmm. um, it supports us in doing what's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's tempting to do what's easy. Sometimes it's easy to do what will make people like you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's easy to do what your colleagues say. Oh, well, you know, put on the Disney video. It's a rainy <laughs> afternoon. Yeah, so the code, the code backs you up. Um, my co-author on the two NAEYC books on ethics, Nancy Freeman, has, has a wonderful line that we use all the time. She says, when your back is against the wall, the code of ethics holds up the wall. Right. So I think that, that, that's an important factor. The code communicates who we are to people outside the field. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just in a session and people are saying, oh, we're sharing it with our parents. And, you know, so, so I think it it's out there and says we are professionals mm -hmm. because we do have these ethical commitments. And I think it can help to unify us. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are a very diverse field. Um, people work in all kinds of settings with all kinds of age groups. And so this is one thing that we can say we share. Right. So right. It, it's right. something and that then, brings us together. And also because of our mm -hmm. diversity, uh, we, we have our code of ethical conduct, which is aimed primarily at direct service providers, at, at practitioners, those who work directly with children and families. And you mentioned earlier, we've also developed a supplement to the code for program administrators and a supplement to the code for uh, early childhood adult educators. And you also mentioned that uh, we at NAYC we also have two books, which you and Nancy yeah. Freeman have mm -hmm. co-authored, and um, Eva Moravchik is, is also a co-author of, of one of those books, uh, Teaching the Code. And I sometimes think we must be the most ethical profession because we certainly have more pages dedicated to ethics, I think, than, we do. than many other professions. We do. And for a very good reason, yeah. Well, yeah. partly because it's important and partly because we don't have the kinds of structures that other fields yeah. do. We yeah. work in different settings, and so the, the code has a lot of provisions. And when we wrote the code, we agreed we would just focus on the classroom. We didn't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. We didn't have much in the way of resources. So we said, mm -hmm. well, just worry about the child, the teacher, the director in the classroom, mm -hmm. and we'll wait. And if there are other groups that have other issues, we will deal with those another day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we did. Mm -hmm. And and also our code has been um, uh, has been reviewed by the National Association for Family Child Care, and they have found that the code works in fam for family child care settings as well. And ACEI. So, and and ACEI Association for oh. Childhood Education International. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're. Um, yeah. So the code works in in many many settings. 